why I'm wagging this around. I'm not even gonna try to stop. I did just a little get ready with me style video. I showed you pretty much everything except brows, foundation, concealer, and powder because all of that is boring. And yeah, if you want to see how I created this look, just keep watching. I don't know what look I'm doing. I'm just gonna roll with it. I have stuff to do tonight. I'm gonna go in first with my R37 and dip into Golden Ochre. And I'm just going to put that in my crease as my transition shade to help the other colors blend later on. So even though I already put the gold color in my crease, I definitely want to do something mauve -y. So now I'm dipping into Buon Fresco with my M441. I probably could have skipped that first shade, but we're just rolling with it. I actually like the way Golden Ochre and Buon Fresco are layered on each other, so disregard what I said and do both colors. Now I'm going to take my R37 and dip into Love Letter, and I'm just going to start placing that in the outer V, and then when I have less product on the brush, then I'm going to start placing it in my crease lower than the other colors. And I'm gonna kind of tilt the brush upwards so it can blend up rather than get it all over my lid. I wanna try to leave my lid as blank as possible for now. Now I'm taking my Wet n Wild crease brush and Venetian Red, and I'm pretty much doing the exact same thing I just did, just trying to keep it a little bit tighter. Now I'm taking my M433 and Antique Bronze, and I'm just popping that right on the lid. Now I'm taking my Morphe M213 and Vermeer. I'm going to highlight my brow bone with that. And for the lower lash line, I'm just going to take my E18 brush and I'm going to go in with Buon Fresco first. Taking that same brush and going in with Love Letter, I'm going to do the same thing, just trying to keep it just a little bit tighter. And last, taking my M432 and Venetian Red, I'm just going to very tightly place that right at my lower lash line. And then taking that M213 again and Vermeer, I'm just going to highlight my inner corners. And then my camera's about to die, so I'm going to do my wing liner and lashes and probably my hair off camera. And then I'll come back and do my rest of my face and yeah. Here's the eye look up close. Using my Morphe R2, I'm going to bronze. And then using the same bronzer and my Morphe R10, I'm just going to contour a little bit. My birthday is Friday, but I'm celebrating with my friends tonight, so obviously I have to look extra good and put in all this extra work. Using this Scone Cosmetics blending brush, I'm just going to contour my nose a little bit. I don't know why I like this brush for this, but it does the job quick and easy. Using my Morphe M530, I'm dipping into Spellbound by Makeup Geek. I'm just gonna pop this on my cheeks so I don't look like I have no color on my face at all. 
Using my M510 and Jeffree Star's Crystal Ball, I'm going to highlight the cheekbones. It has a good pinky undertone to it, which is going to complement my eyes very nice. For lips, I'm going to use Jeffree Star's Calabasas. It's so pretty. Look how pretty this is. I'm going to set with the Morphe Prep and Set Setting Spray. This is the final look. I hope you like it. I was going for something basically just like this once I decided what I was gonna do. Now I'm gonna go eat yummy food with some of my friends and that's all I got for you. Okay, bye. Focus on me. My cats are making out under the camera. Get it. Let's get it on. <laughs> My cats are fighting, ignore that. What do you have to say to me? <laughs> I use the highlighter when you're done. Ah! Just dug my nail into the blush. Oopsies. Focus on me. As soon as Madame Kenzie is done, I will be able to highlight. How is it on my teeth? Uh.